G'day and welcome to late Sunday night here in Australia. It's currently 9 p.m. or just before 9 p.m. And tonight something special is occurring. We have the Mitchelton Scott Gravel Group Ride presented by Bike Exchange. Now, it doesn't sound any different to anything else that's being set up on Zwift. However, this one is due to the coronavirus. Because all the racing over in Northern Italy has been for a few weeks, the Mitchelton Scott team got in contact with Zwift to get their riders on board to interact with their fans. Bloody great idea, I think. So here I am, kitted up late Sunday night. We're gonna join, there is about 1,200 people, I think, plus signed up. We kick off in just under 10 minutes. As you can see there on screen, we're doing a gravel ride. So we'll need a bike switch as well. Let's jump over to the start pens and get ourselves on a better bike because this one here, isn't gonna do the trick on gravel. All right, let's jump over to join the event and see who's ready to get going. I am this far, oh, <laughs> I was gonna say I'm this far back. Insane, right, okay, we have 368. So you see the number up there? They're the number of 368, 369, 370, and we're still eight or nine minutes out. Brilliant, there's gonna be a lot. All right, send a g'day. Done, g'day sports fans. Now Zwift will only draw around 100, I think, or 150 riders around you, so we won't see the full 100, or what, 1500 or so that are gonna be joining this one. I'd love, oh, Darryl Impey, there we go. So we'll pro spot tonight. A lot of Aussies that I know as well on there. Apparently Columbia, it's a 5 a.m. start, <laughs> Darryl Impey. Alrighty, everyone chiming in. So we look pretty far back. Uh, let me jump off this screen here. Everyone's on their virtual trainers. What a mess, what a mess. And we're all in our own jerseys as well, that's cool. So here's the bunch that I'm with at the moment. And some ride leaders up there. So as I said, you only ever see 100 riders at one time drawn on screen because it really slows things down with slow assistance. I really hope Swift will push that out to show the full experience because that would be packed. That would be as far as the eye can see of riders. 451 at the moment. Rock and roll. But as I said, we've got to get off this bike. Let's get over here. Now the question is, do I go mountain bike or gravel bike? because the road bike or the Tron bike ain't gonna be the one to choose for tonight. It's gonna to be quite funny. People on road bikes will be off the back. Those on bikes that go faster on the gravel will be much, much better off. Uh, let's go the Grail. Why not? I'm familiar with that. What's this one? Cape Epic bike. Okay, now scroll, scroll. Uh, Canyon, Ultimate gra Grail. Let's give it a... Different paint, it's got green tires. Okay, we'll give it a different paint color. Blue's my color, different. There we go, we'll be on the grail. Done and done. Can we get any weirder with the hair? I think the hair's fine. Socks up good, no gloves, standard sunnies. That should do. Okay, now let's double check we are on that gray. Yes, beautiful. Grail equipped. Perfect. Quite a few people on the road bikes. Ah, there's someone who's who's up with the tricks. The mountain bike. This is going to split apart quite quickly. They did say what 2.5 to 3 watts a kilo, which I better start warming up for. So a good, a good tempo. I'm sure the pros will rip it apart. But with what 530 people now in the start pen, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter how far or how hard we go. It, it's there's always going to be someone to ride with. So. That's what it's mostly about. All right, we'll see if we can load up the companion app as well. What have we got? Five minutes, 46. Because it's so late, I've already had my dinner. <laughs> Hopefully we won't see dinner again. <laughs> uh, Rightio. <clears throat> companion app loaded. There we are. Okay, she'll allow me to give some ride-ons there. Who have we got? 6066. Look at that number going up. So we'll kick off the ride in just under five minutes. This should be a bit of fun. Should be a lot of fun. So pro spotting 
on the, uh, what do they call the course? It's the jungle circuit. It's the jungle circuit. There we are in the pink. You've got the right idea with the, just like at a normal race, you're scoping out everybody else's bikes. So the quick tip there was number, or letter T on the keyboard to get to the shop or the drop shop. Or you can go back to menu and click through, but T is the quick way to get there. Just as A is quick to get to our pairing screen, T will get you to the shop. So tonight running the Tax Neo 2T. So connected via FEC for controllable trainer, power source, FEC, same ID, cadence, same again. Wahoo ticker heart rate strap on. Good to go. T, straight to the drop shop there. We, sh we should put some gloves on just to be cautious. We don't want to fall off. Crazy ourselves, there we go. <laughs> ah, the things we do. Cool. Gloves on. Oh, and Yates just happens to appear on the screen right near me. So the team's on. I believe both men and women's teams are all on. Most of them have been tweeting out about it. I think it's a brilliant idea, as I said early on. Because at the moment, uh, no racing means no uh, exposure within races or race results and what people follow along for. It's a brilliant way for, uh, for pro cyclists to just keep in the mix, keep their fitness up. Not that they'll probably get a lot of fitness from this, but Maddie Heyman's in. How good is this? This, this is what the software platform is about. This is brilliant. Absolutely love it. So we'll keep an eye on chat. We'll watch the banter. It's probably going to be a lot going on. So we might have to flip over to the messages on the, uh, the mobile app to keep track of so much chat going past. But there's a tip. So number one tip for today, T on the keyboard. We'll get you to the shop to change bikes. You do need to be stationary to be able to swap frames though and wheels. Given I'm going nowhere here, Sam Bewley. Oh, what else going on? Uh, and also, yeah, the, the chat. If the chat is too busy, too messy, pull out the companion app and be able to follow it along there. It still flows pretty quick. Let's have a crack at the finish line. Whew. All right, and I have to put the fan up just a little bit here. I try and keep the fan down so the audio is good for the stream or for the recording, as this case is. Two minutes. Oh, ah, we'll leave the fan where it is. We've got enough water here. Three bottles and a towel. Can't be too bad, can it? Though I already am quite hot. Minute 55. It is a smart fan, so I can turn it up halfway through the ride if it gets a bit uh, gets a bit steamy. Alrighty. We've got a few shots here. Now the Mitchelton Scott kit is real kit. Average riders cannot get that kit. So the two riders you're seeing there are Mitchelton Scott riders. Bit of a jumble of a start line. Why am I out by myself? Hmm. All right. Nine seconds. If you're not familiar with a big bunch ride on Zwift, another tip is to never miss the start. And by never missing the start, that means you've got to be pedaling. Don't wait for the clock to tick down, then go. Be up to speed a good five seconds prior. Boy Salzburg, you're on. X Pro Rider, they, they're all here. This is, this is good. All right. How many have we got? 11.50, <laughs> I forgot to even look at the numbers. And it's still going up, 11.55. Way 11.58, 59, 61, 60. Look at that, that is phenomenal. Okay, it's time to start cranking up the watts. Couple more down, three power meters on at the moment, so this is all being recorded. 30 seconds to go. Everyone block Bewley. <laughs> Anyone a grab bike? Yep. 
Nine seconds, alrighty. So I get it won't be on from the gun, but we can't miss the start. So we are on Bangarang. Now where this is going to get absolutely decimated is on the gravel. Thankfully I upgraded my PC two weeks ago and it can handle this. We'll switch a few camera angles. Make sure we get all the, uh, all the detail. Couldn't even see myself on that one. Alrighty. I hope it doesn't get too hard. <laughs> Oh. Eleven ninety three, eleven ninety four. Late like joiners. We're gonna pass twelve hundred. Can't be too far off. Bang! There we go. Esteban Chavez. Durbo. Bang. Okay, no positioning on screen because it's a group ride, it's not really a race. Good to see. It's on though, my heart rate's up. <laughs> Mainly because I'm unfit. Uh, we'll get G off the screen there. So we haven't got the graphs. And Amik is the red beacon, okay. Now if I can spot a few people with the icons next to their name, so the orange Z means they're a Zwift employee. Onto the dirt and backwards go the road bikes, I hope. Yeah, Amanda Spratt. So the orange jerseys of real pros verified. The orange Zs. Zwift employees, the orange tick, uh, verified users, which I have. What else do we have? Everyone else has the C, indicating it's the C category or just a, an everyone ride. I, you can spot the roadies. They're all flying backwards. Ha <laughs> ha I thought this would happen. <laughs> so without too much stress, I'm working my way through the field and what's filtering out here are people on gravel bikes and mountain bikes. A few trons. They'll be back soon though. Here we go. Huge bunch. And I'm cooking. Stannard. It won't let me change bikes, okay. So poor Dean Shives is being shafted because he's moving. You can't move and change bikes. You have to stop. A quick way to do that is press A. Pairing screen will jam the brakes on. Then you can go over to the shop. Alrighty. Okay, once we're in a good position here, you should be able to back off and just cruise. I've worked my, my way up there through all the roadies and the trons. Unfortunately, that's not the bike to be on here. <laughs> I 
Good stuff, Chavez. I'll bike you on Esteban. Where's Salzburger? Where's... What? I'm just trying to spot what bikes there. Those who should know are on. And Amik Van Vluten. Oh, hard to see all this dust. Still good, good, getting good frame rates. Performing really well in this new PC. Loving it. Yep. Can't see a thing, but that's how it is. Chavez at four watts a kilo. Not quite the uh, advertised ride pace. It's typically what happens with a, a group ride without a fence. Alrighty. Going past the Nick Schultz. Another pro. Past the entry gate there of the Alpha Zwift. Thankfully, we're not going up Alpha Zwift. <clears throat> right on, Jeffrey Creel. <laughs> Chavez is punching 4.2 watts, and I'm just, I'm keeping up with him at 2.7. I'm still busting my own ass, but it's wrong bike, wrong bike. <laughs> that are on the roadies. That makes life easier for us. Just a little bit. <clears throat> Alrighty, out of the dust. I'll bike you on Schiltz. Yep, Scott roadies. Good, they gotta work hard. <clears throat> Chavez 4.4 kilo, spot to kilo. <laughs> well, I can back it off a little bit now. I'm in good company. And I'm sure this is strung out like nothing else due to the differences there with the bikes we're using. Ride number two today after some testing early on. See, I'm just flying through this, this bunch here at low wattage. And that's the difference a, a gravel bike or a mountain bike will make on this course. Pushing up the front there is a mountain biker. Much more suited. Impy's dropping back. To be honest, they've got no hope when the pace goes up against multiple mountain bikers or multiple gravel bikes. But it's still fun. <laughs> ah, alrighty. If he's ordering coffee. So that's the difference between a pro and us. The pros can still order coffee at four watts a kilo. <laughs> Back on the dirt. Yes. This pace is like an FTP effort. We'll be on a road bike. Oof. Now that gradient kicks in. There we go. It's a much better pace up the hill. Looking great in 4K through here. I love it, these new graphics.
Still sweat the same though. Doesn't make it any easier. The two beacons are dropping back. Hey, International Women's Day shout out. Good stuff. Nice pace, this one. It's a bit hectic through the, uh, the start there. Now that we've dropped the beacons, much better. Caden Groves, another pro up the road there. Doing well early in the season, Caden. <laughs> Infy knows what's up. <laughs> Infy's way back. Hopefully I won't get the microphone, but I need some extra cooling. Woof! Someone just flew through. Mountain bike is taking it to everyone. Faux sure, you can see. That's who's really filtered through to the front here. Now he's bringing a gun to a knife fight. This is definitely a knife fight. Right on. 21k to go. This court couldn't cope with my heavy panting. <laughs> That's what you're probably getting here from me. Should be a little easier. Let me hit the climb, top of the climb, sorry. Oh, yep, sweating buckets. <sighs> Impy in the yellow, way back really far back. <laughs> Impy's asking if anyone's seen enemy. She's the red beacon well up the road on Impy. Loving this detail. So much better than the old machine I've come from. Callum Scotton on a road bike going backwards. Whew. Good little group here. A lot of mountain bikers pushing through to the front. Troy Collett, right on mate. All right. A couple more minutes up the hill. 1,273 riders, or plus the light names on the screen. That's all I've got to add to this. Oh, 
Okay. 20k to go. Everyone in the chat's talking uh, about the bikes. <laughs> Almost at the hanging bridge. I think I've switched off Neo Road Feel for the bridge. So I'm not going to get the rumbles. Alrighty. Ah, <laughs> cheers. And we're on the bridge. Woof. I'll be going through all my drink bottles, I think. Good little group here. Oh, nice shot there. <laughs> Except when it goes up. Back on Team TFC. And back to the start of the gravel loop or jungle loop. Nice little group, this one. Imp is gone. <laughs> That's, if they're looking for a cruisy ride on road bikes, nah. Not gonna happen. Here we got Jack Bow. They're all here. This is really good to see. TT's an excellent choice. Lol. <laughs> okay, now given the Impy is so far back, Impy hasn't hit the bridge yet. And the mix over. Now I'm giving this info from the little graph at the top there. We can just cruise. We can just cruise and just wheel surf all the way through. <laughs> uh, good banter in the chat. And now, so we'll go through the chat. See what's popping up on the chat there. It's too hard to keep a track of. Chat just keeps overlaying itself, overlaying itself. So if you have the companion app open, you'll see it in chronological order. Grace Brown, hey hey! Oh, I don't have the ability to do um, <clears throat> massive thumbs up write-ons on the companion app. Stringing out the front. Looks like the pace is being pushed pretty hard. Grace Brown's up the road. Go Grace. So even nearly 1,300 riders, it's good to be able to identify the pros. And who you might want to ride with or ride next to. On the downs. Impy. <laughs> We're probably going to lap Impy. Right on, Tim Seal. <coughs> Got the dust going on. And we can change the view at the top there by clicking on the map. That slot's going to have some lung problems after this ride. MP is well gone. 
that's fine. With 1,300 riders on course, there'll always be someone to ride with. And that's my excuse to just back it off a little bit. Because <laughs> I'm toast. Sitting up for beacons, yeah. I think the different bikes have just totally smashed the field. Smaller groups forming. Yep. My way. Like a stampeding buffalo. Look at them all. <clears throat> I got, as I said earlier on, three power meters going. Not too bad. They're close enough for this ride. Maybe not for the Llama Lab test though. What am I on? 2.6 watts. Yep, we're on advertised pace. We're good. But this uh, this group ride has just become a massive, massive train in small bunches. There we go, it's a big bunch up the road. Because of the differences with the bikes. <laughs> That's right. Almost half done, it's good stuff. Now the trick is at the end of this, Jump on Strava, on the mobile app, go to your ride, if you're doing this ride, or even if you're just looking at my Strava, and find the rider, sorry, find me or find the rider that's in this bunch, go to who they rode with, wait for a few seconds for that to load, shake your phone, and kudos everyone. It's the hidden Strava mass kudos trick. I have a video on that. If you link search for GP Lama Kudos or GP Lama Kudos Shake, it should pop up with a full walkthrough. Whew. Jungle circuit. Where's Impy? <laughs> Where's Salisbury? <laughs> there we go, Where's is coming up. Now Where's could be both, X-Pro, but also Zwift Australia employee. What bikes wears on, can we see? What if I drop back and click on him? <laughs> uh, all gravel, great, well done. Where's? Good choice, mate, thumbs up. Where's knows what's up? the hill again. Okay, we can really just cruise it in now. Ride leaders are a kilometer plus back.
But there's the, there's the game of Zwift that's different. That experienced Zwifters will know what bike to pick. <laughs> nice Graham Miller. <laughs> and not so experienced is uh, are the pros who can put out tons more power than us, of course. But it's about knowing the game. I hope to see more of that in Zwift, to differentiate it, to reward those who play Zwift a lot, rather than just someone coming along with a sledgehammer VO2 max and winning something they never use. So I think more tricks, more gamification, more experience needed to to do well. I'm sure you could do both. But okay, Alex Edmondson coming up soon. One second back. Oh. Someone was saying 1609 riders right, when they jumped on. <laughs> Head mo. Edmo's on four watts a kilo and dropping back. Or was. Or right, we're over halfway. Definitely pineapple on pizza, of course. Good, good quality chat. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Nine twenty-eight p.m. Keeping an eye on little Maxwell Miller on the little security cam. Back to sleep, buddy. He's all good. Oh, the burn! Oh, the gears. That's right, we have gears. Still a lot of Tron bikes representing up the front. We can see the two ride leaders way far back. Those riders pushing through, putting out quite a lot of watts on those roadies. Who's Edmo still on my wheel? Oh, thank you for the personal message. <laughs> they also come through when I'm recording live. Alrighty, come on, top out, top out. Nearly on to drink bottle number two. 
<laughs> Jim is one to help the Zwift after party. <laughs> Not on this bike. And my push is five watts a kilo to move up. There he goes. Quinton Lafay right on. Race with Clint, Quinton over in um, Las Vegas, 2017. Where's Salzburg is going? Six watts a kilo, he's gone. <laughs> and he's been told to say, make it rain thumbs, what does that do? That's a thunderstorm where people go through and just click everyone for a ride on. It's not popping up though in the companion app for me. All right. When do we just, when do we just swift flicks and chill? I feel like I'm being fried here. Oh. Sweating buckets, but I'm loving the game of uh, Spot the Pro. Oh. Dang, a lot of people got on the, uh, on the push through there, getting the jump. Good way to move up a few spots. Alrighty, probably about a quarter lap ahead of the leaders at the moment. I think next time they'll probably be on the Scott mountain bikes. <laughs> no circling group events. There we go. Just the free ride. Now there's the community again. That's the good thing about the Zwift community. And has been since day one. It's helping each other out with trouble support tickets or you know, why doesn't this work? A lot of people will chip in and help each other out. It's pretty much how uh, a lot of my YouTube content starts. <laughs> Who else is new to Zwift? <laughs> Good banter. Oh, now I dropped the wheel. Oh, someone else is riding home. Awkward. I'll just wait for the next punch. A lot of things splitting up now. So Impy and Anamik haven't made the bridge yet. You can still see them up there. Sheepy sheepy. He's my other YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, come on, just push, just push. And we're, and we're cruising. All right, top of the hill here. Got a nice downhill, uh, downhill cruise. Ten point eight k to go. Love and life. At one hundred and fifty five beats a minute. <laughs> He's organising the coffee, it's good stuff. Must be a big bunch behind me, I can see all the names kicking up. A little bit far back.
Hey, we got copies for everyone. I delivers. Pay me the check. Ooh. Ooh. That's interesting. <laughs> How are you coming back with a coffee chat? Excellent. That's good. It's good to see them interacting on here. Be it them, the writer themselves talking or having someone next to them typing away for them. Either way, good banter. We've had uh, rides in the past where a the talent, I guess you call them, has jumped on and not said anything. No good. This is where it's at. They've got it right. Brilliant to see. Half a lap up on the ride leaders. Awkward. Still a good ride, we've got the pros with us. Back in front, they're everywhere. Bowers is up the road. I think this will be coming into our last lap. Do have a pace line happening? Three to three, seven point eight to go. Yeah, that's it. Once more up the hill, then we'll cruise down, and we're done. Solid ride, good banter. Isle of Man flag. There we go. Pretty sure it's the old man play. What do we got? 38, 55, 56, 38, 57. And we'll get this done under, definitely under the hour. I hope. On the hill, here we go. Synchro 1, kicking in a couple of gears at the back for me with the front train change. It's getting late, getting dehydrated, getting slower. All right. Where are we in relation? Oh.
or I was going to ask tubeless or tube, so I might get into any equipment conversation. You're not really going to get the right answer. Kerry Smith. Quite an active user in Zwift Riders, Kerry Smith. Should we get stuck into this last lap? Impy, you're going to have to get stuck into it to catch up because of your bike joints. <laughs> There's a few people really stepping it up on this lap. Really thinned out. The flybys on this would be very interesting on Strava. There's Impy. You can see the uh, the beacon over the other side of the course. You can just see the entry to help the Zwift there. There's Impy coming down the road there. Half a lap, I think. Six K to go. On to the second dribble. Oh, I've missed a big split here, but that's all right. If it was a race, you want to close that gap pretty quick. Grind. All right, one last climb, I think it is, isn't it? Jess Allen. Sam, they're all in the chat. This is great. Really, really good. He'd be speaking the truth there. He's FTP in what's per kilo, depends on how much chocolate he's eating. Ah, oh, can't be too far. Come on, where's the top of this climb? Drag. It's not massive watts, they're just grinding me. Come on. Oh, it's better.
right, 45.06, 45.07, 45.08. We're gonna do it under the hour. Oh. Not uphill though. All right, let's go to top out in a minute. DO2 battery just went flat. You see, that integrated with Zwift through AMP Plus or Bluetooth, he would have known the battery would have gone and go flat. All this and more on the latest Zwiftcast, <laughs> which I mentioned exactly that. Tapping out for the bridge. Grail, Grail, roadie, mountain bike. Yep, mountain bike. <laughs> That's where the speed is on this course. John McAfee up the road, two seconds, possibly streaming. Oh, it's getting hot, getting hot. I think that's everything that's soaked. A ramp test is an FTP test, or can be. Oh, there goes. No, I missed who it was. Onto the third drink bottle. Miss Giles in the Zwift Beta Kit. Not available anymore unless you're part of the Zwift Beta. Bring me a wheel. Oh, good. Jess Allen, here we go. Two seconds up the road. There she goes, she switched off. Leave out services done for Jess, there she goes. Or she might be dropping back for Impy. Who's somewhere around last week, I think. He's a long way back. As I cross the finish line here, we might pop back through if I can still be part of the group. I'll see if that's possible. And we'll see what kind of what Impy does at the end.
Barnabas. Road bike, working hard. Alright, should be an easy cruising to finish here. We'll spot to where everyone else is. So Impy still hasn't hit, no, they haven't hit the, the bridge yet. They're still going. One thing about the smart bikes, which I'm not on at the moment, I'm on a Neo 2T. You don't get that gear clunk on a smart bike. Not the sound. You get a little bit of the feel, not the sound. So you can go and buy a trainer that is very, very quiet and then wake everyone up with your gear changes. That's the upside to having a smart bike. They really are quiet. Alrighty. What did MP say? 5k to go, was it? We're on one mile, 1.5k now. <clears throat> Alrighty. It's good there's no positioning in there, so no one's really fighting for that. Uh, 78th or 79th place. Looks like everyone's just cruising in where they want to be. Quite a few big gaps opening up. The draft effect is kicking in with pit riders sticking together. There we go, coming into the last kilometre now. Keep drinking, keep drinking. Oh, <laughs> and that TT bike's going backwards. <laughs> like, I'm sitting on two watts a kilo. That poor dude on the TT bike's doing four, 4.6 and still not gaining on us. He's dropping back. That definitely is a gun that had a knife fight. All right, a couple of riders pushing hard to the line there. A bit difficult to see without all 1,300 riders on the screen. And he's just hitting the bridge. I reckon if he went really, really hard, you probably could have lapped him. I'd call that, yep. If you went on from the gun, I reckon we'd have caught him. We didn't know that was going to happen though. Though, what a difference the bike makes though. Huge difference. And here we go. 80 metres. I'm not sure if I can go back to MP after this. I might be kicked out. We'll see what happens. And 17. And boom, there we go. Up and about average of 210 watts. 54 minutes, 21. Under the hour, that wasn't bad. But look, hats off to uh, definitely the Mitchell and Scott crew for uh, getting involved. Not only getting involved, but interacting. And that's, that's a big bonus after being involved in many, many of these kind of Zwift races. We'll loop around and watch them all roll in. That's super cool. So we'll roll in backwards here while we're giving everyone thumbs ups with the multi thumbs up. But yeah, they did that well. Uh, whoever was involved in getting uh, Mitchell and Squat and so many riders on, well done. That was brilliant. 
a lot of riders here. Everyone you're standing there is a real person who has had that real experience in the virtual world, riding with their, uh, their favorite pros, or maybe even not their favorite pros, their favorite enemies. If they're, uh, they're broken, oh, someone's ripping up a sprint. You go, you go. There we go, rolling in. That's absolutely brilliant use of the platform. Uh, lots of banter around the, the brands. If I'm talking about Scott Bikes, obviously Mitchell and Scott are sponsored by Scott, naming, uh, naming sponsor of the, the team. I do like it. I won't keep banging on about that though. We'll just keep rolling backwards here and get everyone a thumbs up, using the circles. Tron bike, oh, you poor bugger, that would have, uh, would have been a fair hike. With a few, lot more watts. A couple of mountain bikes rolling in. Where's MP? Oh, I won't see the beacon because I'm not part of the, the group now while I'm done. But we'll roll back here for a K or two. Just to clock up to the hour. Is that a runner? Someone's like, is that Froome? Froome's lost his bike again. Maybe someone was running tubeless and they got one of those punctures that you can't fix. That would have been it. Alrighty. Now, so someone on the orange coming through there. Who I favorited, so that would have been one of my friends. So, top of the screen now, we'll see if we can pick who that is coming through. Is it gonna give you their nameplate? No, it isn't. Give everyone a ride on though. All right, back out to the sunshine. Here we go. The stampede's coming through. Creel, what's happening, mate? Lost the chain. Right on. Mountain bikes, yeah, tons of mountain bikers leading the packs. Big group. No, I'm definitely not doing Elpha Zwift. That was enough for me. Oh, D Shorty just joined the ride and joined me. Sorry, dude, I won't be riding for too much longer, just a minute or two. Lucas Hamilton's on, wow. So there's pros in the mix there that I missed. Obviously with that many riders, absolutely bucket load of people on. Oh, here comes a bunch. Right Let's get the multi thumbs going now. Eric Min, there we go. We'll spin this one around. No, we're not doing Humpters Lift. Alrighty, roll this one in easy now. Now, the riders may not be on my list because I'm not part of the event. So, they'll be rolling in for quite some time now, but while they go to the hour, I won't get take up too much of your time. Hopefully, you've enjoyed that one. That's a bit of fun. But uh, definitely keep an eye on that, I guess, in the next few days, maybe weeks. Uh, fingers crossed not <laughs> for the situation we're in of why the riders are here riding online rather than outside. But, uh, look, I'm sure other teams will jump on board and offer this kind of experience. That was cool. Lots and lots of pros on. They just need to know which bike to jump on. Alrighty, as we hit the hour there for the rollout at the top, we're over schedule. So I'll leave you to it. Thanks for coming along. Hope you've enjoyed this one. And uh, yeah, keep an eye on Zwift social profiles. I think I caught wind of this one on Twitter. Mitchell and Scott were also sharing this one out, so that's all good. All right, with that, right on, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.